Hello fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. You know now, everybody been hollering and screaming about, hey Unc, won't you go over there to Macy's? You can find a Batmobile that tours us. Fam, so you know what, look, I didn't go Saturday because, you know, that whole Ollie's fiasco and, you know, it made me feel some kind of way. I was upset a little bit and I was like, shit, this was a long trip. You know, it was Macy's every damn where. It was like everything that you can imagine was in that vicinity at Fox Valley Mall in Aurora. But I said, look, there's Macy's everywhere in Chicago and the surrounding areas. I said, look, you know, I just go hit them up, you know. So today, which is Sunday, I went out earlier and I said, look, I'm going to go with the intentions on getting like if I go to two stores, two or three stores, I see if I could get one from each store. But I said, hey, really, I get five or six of them, right? Went into Macy's, you know, asked what the Toys Us section was, they told me. Fam, I couldn't find not a damn Batmobile out of this world. Man, you know what? Look, no matter how I say this, fam, you know, it's like when you tell people you can't find some shit, they look at you funny. Look, I understand I could pre-order it, I could do all this and I can do that, man, but you know what? I want to walk my ass into the store and pick it up. What's wrong with that? You know what? And to everybody saying, man, look, you just, just, you just over there capping, you know, you ain't really going to these, fam, I'm going to these places. But you know what? Not every time you're going to take pictures because sometimes when you go in there, you get pissed the fuck off already because you like the gas that goes with this, fam. You know, a lot of people don't think about it. When I went to Ali's the other day, nobody thought about the fucking gas that it takes to get there and to come your ass back. I said, hot as hell, you going to run that air conditioner. Look, I don't care. I'm not opening no damn windows. It was too damn hot. It's nothing but hot ass air coming in. So I cut the air conditioner on, man. Look, we going to ride, right? <laughs> but, you know, that's another story. Today is cold as hell in Chicago, and I'm good with that. You know, I was explaining to someone the other day, look, you're not going to always find shit that everybody else is finding. It's just real. It's not me being upset, you know, angry. It's just like if you go into these stores and you don't find it, you just don't find it. But when you tell people, they make it seem like you just, you know, see, it ain't nothing good with the hobby the way he making it sound. It's stuff good with the hobby. But sometimes you can't find it, and it's what it is. Yes, you will go off if you spend gas money going to get it. You know, going to see if you can find some stuff, fam. You know, like I said, lightning ain't on always strike over and over again. But you know what? Sometimes you can hope for, you know, a better outcome, a better situation, um, a better way of, you know, looking at the situation. Fam, you know what? That's how I keep looking at these situations. You're not going to always win. Sometimes you're going to lose. Sometimes you're going to lose real bad. Sometimes you're going to get upset and frustrated and angry about every damn thing. You know, whether it be the Batmobile, because, you know, a lot of people have been pushing because Target wasn't um, allowing, you know, the Batman figures to be sold because if you went into a few Targets, if you noticed, you found some Batman Flash figures on the shelf. But when you took them up to scan them, they were street dated, so you couldn't buy them. Fam, you know, that's the thing that I say. Look, they got so much shit in the back. Put the stuff out. You know, even if you can't put the Flash stuff out, put the other stuff out. Don't just have shit sitting in the back and your whole aisle is empty. Come on, now. You ain't gonna make no money with empty aisles. This is what I'm saying. But, you know, there's a few figures from the Flash movie I want. I want the Michael Keaton Batman. But, you know what? I was kind of tripped out because I was looking at the unmasked version of the gold label Batman. And I'm like, why do he look like, um, what is that guy named? Uh, Val Kilmer. I said, don't this supposed to be Michael Keaton? But see, this is what you get got at. But see, fam, this is what I talk about each and every time. I feel some kind of way about a lot of these situations. I feel that a lot of times our input is not taken into consideration. McFarlane pays attention to us, man. But you know what? Some of these head scopes, and he's going to come out with a platinum version watch. And it's going to look exactly like Michael Keaton watch. That always happens. It's like he got to get his money out of you first. Then, you know, later on, like, okay, let me see. Now that that's done, I'm going to get this money. 
fam, look, we gonna win. And we gonna continue to win. Look, you know, I didn't find nothing, you know, as far as to buy from Ollie's the other day, but you know what? From Macy's today, I didn't find nothing to buy. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna keep, you know, like I said, at Target, I've checked them out today. But you know what? I'm gonna keep it pushing. You know, because at the end of the day, man, look, you got all the opportunities in the world to keep buying stuff. You know, just let it roll off your back. If you can't buy it right now, buy it a little later. You know, that's just real talk. But thanks, fam. Peace out.